What's up guys, Mr. Jason back here again with another movie review for you guys. This is going to be a review for the Marvel Universe movie on Black Widow. I saw it last night, so I'm going to do the best to my ability from what I understood from watching the movie and can remember full as much details as possible. I'll do my best to do a somewhat minor spoiler review, so if you don't want to be spoiled at all, uh, you might as well just leave this video. But if you don't mind minor spoilers and kind of just... See a review to kind of hype you up to see the movie, or just have an idea of if you want to see it or not, and then stick watching this video. That's what this video is for. But yeah, so, um, I don't know exactly, like, full details of what was going on from, like, the origins of, um, Natasha's, of course, you know, Black Widow, Natasha Romanoff, her whole origin story, that's basically what this movie was. But the movie starts off with these two little kids playing, you know, in their backyard, which clearly was, um... Natasha and her, I guess you can say sister, but not by blood. Um, I'll explain more about that in a little bit. Her uh, sister, Yelena. They were just playing in the yard, you know. I guess they have, like, these really amazing abilities to fight and whatever else. So their fake family were, um, like I said, I'll explain. It's confusing. I'm going to explain to the best of my ability. But um, David Harbour, which plays the Red Guardian, Alexei, as his name is as well, He's a Russian who's, I guess, on a mission, and he's got a friend, uh, Drakov, I believe was the name. I call him Jackoff, but uh, Drakov, I think is what his name actually is, Drakov. Uh, his friend's with this Alexei character, and he kind of gives his kids, I guess you can say, which is Natasha and uh, Yelena. I almost said Zelina. Uh, Yelena, he sends them away so they can become like widows and be mind-controlled, basically, and become trained Russian spies or trained assassins if you want to say like i said it's confusing i'm gonna try my best to explain it and um of course the wife the fake wife of alexi is melina or melena melena melina whatever uh, so they're the parents who are on this mission and it just starts off with the introduction of those characters and you know uh, alexi comes home melena says how much time do we have he says an hour so they have to actually go away and escape. They're in Ohio at that moment. They have to escape from Ohio and fly over towards, I forget where it was, to meet Drakov and send off Natasha and Yelena. So S.H.I.E.L.D., I was confused at this moment. I had no idea why S.H.I.E.L.D. was coming after them, but there was a floppy disk that, um, uh, what the heck, Alexi had. So I don't know the full details of the explanation of that, but that's how the movie opens up. And of course, it starts, it progresses more Showing like 20 years later, Natasha is in the bathroom and she, I think it's S.H.I.E.L.D. again. I don't, some of the characters, I wasn't sure who they were, but I believe S.H.I.E.L.D. is looking for Natasha Romanoff again. I don't know exactly why they were going after her. I'm not, I'm still somewhat confused how the movie is. So I'm doing my best to review it with what I can remember and just give an idea. But she's on the run from S.H.I.E.L.D. 20 years, 21 years later. I think that's what it was. And... She gets a package at her, the trailer that one of her friends lended her or got for her. She gets a package and it has these um, antidotes that helps cure like the mind control that Drakov has created with these widows. Black widows, is, well, Natasha's black widow, but these widows that are being mind controlled by Drakov. Yelena is in Beta Pest, I believe it was. And she was in her own situation. She was sent on a mission. She was one of the widows controlled by Drakov. And she was actually going to kill the lady that had the antidotes. And the lady actually used the antidote on Yelena. So it cured her. And she realized what was happening. And then she kind of escaped, went on her own. And sent the package of these antidotes to um, Natasha. Hoping that she can send them to her scientists or whatever. So they can create more. So they can cure all these widows. And then Taskmaster, Master, which is actually a complete different situation from like what he was in the comics. It's actually a woman, and um, which was the daughter that Natasha blew up in an explosion trying to kill Drakov some time ago before this all, this present time is all taking place. So what kind of leads from that? I don't want to spoil too much in the movie, but of course, you know, the family all reunite. You get the Red Guardian, Malena, you got Natasha, and uh, Yelena. Yelena, Malena, I know the mother and the other daughter. 
Natasha's sister. It all goes from there. It's just the origin story of Natasha. It kind of gets some nods to like the whole Avengers situation. I'm not sure of the timeline that this was all taking place because for those who already know, and like Marvel Universe present time, like the actual present time of the Avengers and whatnot, Natasha passed away. So I don't know the timeline of this movie specifically, but it's just based just the origin story explaining what happened with the Black Widow and how it came upon. And it's a way to introduce my cat is here being a pest. Right, Luna? But it was a way to introduce Natasha's sister. I'm going to call her her sister, even though they're not blood. But her sister, Yelena. It introduces her to kind of replace the Black Widow. It's also introducing to tie into the Hawkeye series that's coming to Disney+. Plus. I know this review sounds kind of butchered. But like I said, I explained in the beginning of this video. It was kind of confusing exactly what was happening. I wasn't too sure what certain things were happening and why they were happening but as the movie played out i was kind of learning more about it and like oh okay but some stuff i'm still confused about so drop me some knowledge in the comments down below if you're watching this and already saw black widow or have more of an idea of what is happening in this origins but i don't want to spoil too much of the movie so that's my review the action scenes were great for a marvel movie you would expect the humor uh the actress that they chose to play yelena i love that actress i think it's like florence pugh or pa i can't even say it I don't know exactly what her nationality is. I know she played the WWE wrestler Paige in one of her movies. And she had a British accent. And in this movie, she has a Russian accent. So I don't know exactly. I haven't researched on her too much. But from what I've seen in her in movies, I love her. I'm glad they chose her to be Yelena. I'll be looking forward to seeing her in future movies and series involving the Avengers. So she, it kind of just introduces a character replaced Black Widow in a way. And of course, the Taskmaster situation. I don't... It doesn't bother me that it turned out to kind of just be a girl in this movie. And it kind of... I don't know if Taskmaster will come back in the future. But I don't want to spoil too much. There is a post credit scene. So stay tuned for after the credits when you go to see the movie if you decide to see so. But like I said, the action scenes were great. It's what you would expect from an origin story kind of prequel of a movie just involving a Marvel character. And I like Black Widow. I know some people may not be a huge fan of her. But it's... Worth seeing. I recommend to go to check it out. If you're a fan of the Marvel movies and a fan of the Marvel Universe, go watch it. It's worth it. it this is the beginning of the next phase for the Avengers, so definitely go check it out. But that's going to do it for this review, guys. I'm sorry. Like I said, I probably butchered it a bit. And just drop me some knowledge for the stuff that I was still confused about in the comments down below. And give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you are not. And if you already are subscribed, I appreciate it very much. Thanks for watching and help supporting me. I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.